This is Lesson 106, VHDL Example 72, and this will be a second VGA example in which we display some initials on the screen where the image of the initials is stored in a prong. Here's the top level design. Clock Div and VGA 640 by 480 are exactly the same as in the last lesson. We'll have a PROM DMH module here, which is going to be similar to the VHDL ROM that we went over in Lesson 101. VGA initials will, will output the red, green, and blue signals. We'll use the switches to position the initials on the screen. The ROM address three down to zero is going to be a four-bit address provided by VGA initials and these will provide 16 memory locations corresponding to six rows of the initials on the screen. The width of the initials will be 32 pixels and this output M0 to 13 will contain the pixels for each of the rows of the initials. So let's take a look at the uh, BHDL program that does this. Uh, the PROM DMH will be a 4-bit address, 3 down to 0. The output M is 0 to 31. And just as we did in Lesson 101, we'll define a type ROM array is array of any length of type standard logic vector 0 to 31. And so here is the image. We have a constant ROM, ROM array. We have 16 rows, and you can see the D. See where the ones are, so it's going to get displayed on the screen. So here, if you look at the ones, there's a D. Here's an M. You follow the ones, goes down to here, up and down, and then here's the H. So we're just making a picture, DMH. So the image is going to be 32 pixels wide and 16 pixels high. And then just as we had in Lesson 101, we'll define a variable j to be integer. In the process address, we set j equal to the address, and then the output m is just rom sub j. Now VGA initials will have inputs horizontal and vertical counter coming in from the BGA 640 by 480 module. M is inputs from the PROM. <coughs> the switches will control the position of the initials. And the ROM address will be output to the PROM. Here's the 4-bit address. And then we have the outputs red, green, and blue. So let's look at the architecture. We'll need the horizontal and vertical back port. Uh, back porch as constants. So these are the same constants that we used in our VGA 640 by 480 module. W is the width of our little sprite, we'll call it. These initials we'll refer to as a sprite. So it's going to be 32 pixels wide and 16 pixels high. That's W and H. C1 and R1 will be the upper left hand corner of the initials on the screen. So there will be a 11 bit number. And then the ROM address and ROM pixels are 11 bits, and sprite on RGB, R, G, and B are signals of type standard logic. So we're going to use the switches to control the location of the, Im of the initials on the screen. So C1 will be controlled by the lower four switches, and R1 by the upper four switches. We'll add you know, about five bits over here so that every time you turn the switch by one it you know, jumps by about 32 pixels on the screen. Now the ROM address is going to be determined by the vertical counter. So as the vertical counter is going down the screen when it gets to you know, R1, the row one of the upper left hand corner, we want to start counting at zero. So we'll define the ROM address to be vertical counter. We have to subtract off the vertical back porch. That's this constant we had up here. And then minus R1. So when we get in where we want the image to be displayed, 
the ROM address will start increasing at zero going down the screen. The ROM pixel, the zero to thirty-one, will start at will be determined by the horizontal counter and will start at C1. So we'll define ROM pixel to be horizontal counter minus the horizontal back porch minus C1. So as the horizontal counter goes across the screen, when it gets to C1, we'll start counting ROM picks at zero. ROM address 4 is just going to be the lower four bits of ROM address. We'll now define sprite on to be 1 when we're inside the area that we want the initials to be displayed. That is when the horizontal counter is greater than or equal to C1 plus the horizontal back porch and less than C1 plus the horizontal back porch plus W, the width of our little sprite, and when the vertical counter is greater than or equal to R1, the upper left corner, plus the vertical back porch, and less than R1 plus the vertical back porch plus H, the height of the sprite. Else, the sprite on will be zero. So here's the process which is going to display the red, green, and blue. It's going to depend on sprite on, video on, vid on, and ROM picks an M. Variable J will be an integer. We'll initialize red, green, and blue to zero. And then if sprite on equals one, that is we're inside the range where we want the initials to be displayed, and video on is one, then J gets ROM picks, that is the zero to thirty-one, and then R, G, and B will just be the M sub J that we read out of the ROM. And then the red, green, and blue, this will be three bits of the red, three bits of the green, and two bits of the blue. This means we're going to display the characters in as white. All red, all green, and all blue will be white. So here's the top level design. We've got our prom, we've got the VGA initials, and so we can make this top-level design by just combining these components. M clock is our 50 megahertz clock, is our H-sync, V-sync in the red, green, and blue. So we just do the usual port maps. Clock div, VGA 640 by 480. Here's VGA initials and the prom DMH. So this is the top level design and if you download this program and execute it then you'll find that when you turn the switches, set the switches to different, different settings, you'll be able to move the initials DMH uh, around on the VGA monitor.